is the story of Angry Bobby Axelrod's story. Now, in the story, when Bobby Axelrod was really angry about something, I think it's something to do with jokes or something. Hmm. Well, you'll soon find out as I tell you a story. So here I go. It was midnight outside Axe Capital. Bobby Axelrod and Chuck were having a fight about a party. Your joke was awful! Seriously! You can't make good jokes! yelled Bobby. Oh! Really? My jokes were rubbish! Well, sheesh! shouted Chuck. And just a sheesh! yelled Bobby. Hey! You're not Microsoft's son, Bobby! And I told you not to make fun of me during my party! You called me Chat! I'm not Chet the Snail, I'm Chuck the Worker, shouted Chuck. Oh really, I'm so cross, so let me go and get some fresh air right now, screamed Bobby. Shut up you two, people are trying to sleep, yelled the neighbours. Sorry, sorry, whispered Bobby and Chuck. Oh, really? Fighting at midnight? I wanted to stop, Chuck. I'm so angry! yelled Bobby. Well, just calm down there. Just take a deep breath and go to your happy place, said Chuck. Happy place! Happy place! yelled a voice. Shut up, Blossom! said Bobby. Hey! Bobby Axelrod! Don't talk to Blossom like that! shouted Chuck. Fine, I'll calm down, said Bobby. Well, good, because your face is red, said Chuck. Bobby Axelrod closed his eyes and took lots and lots of deep breaths. It was like relaxation class. Chuck was pretending he was Bobby's teacher. Good Axe, now you can stop fighting with me and getting angry, said Chuck. Bobby was thinking about his happy place in the city. Then he took lots of deep breaths and then he was calm. Spinel's garden, Spinel's garden, counting the seconds, standing alone as thousands of years go by, whispered Bobby. Hmm, what is he talking about? asked Blossom. Spinel's garden. Uh, Spinner's garden. Uh, Spinner helped him see drift away, said Chuck. Chuck, um, how about you let um, Bobby sing drift away to make him feel better? asked Blossom. Good idea, Blossom. Let's do this. Axe, can you sing? said Chuck. Me? Why do you want me to sing? asked Bobby. Because you're a singer. Remember? asked Chuck. Uh, no, I do not. But I can try, said Bobby. Good. Blossom, if you could play the music, please, said Chuck. Just focus, Axe, said Chuck. Bobby began. Bobby closed his eyes and started to sing Drift Away. Here in the garden. Let's play a game, I'll show you how it's done. Here in the garden, stand very still, this will be so much fun. And then she smiled, that what a master, the smile in her eyes, the sound of her laughter. Happy to listen, happy to play. Happily watching her drift away Happily waiting all on my own Under the endless sky Counting the seconds, standing alone A thousand of years go by I believe I'll play, night after night It's just how it works, and my doing it right Happy to the sun, happy to stay 
happily watching her dream Fears away You keep on turning pages Of people who don't care People who don't care about you I still it takes you ages To see that no one's there See that no one's there See that no one's there Everyone's gone on without you Finally something Finally news About how the story ends She doesn't exist now Survived by her son and all of her brand new friends. Isn't that lovely? Isn't that cool? And isn't that cool? I'm not sorry, a cool dad. Happily listen, happily stay, happily watching her dream. Amazing scene! I love it! said Blossom. Bobby opened his eyes and felt happy again. Phew! I feel a lot better. Thanks, Chuck and Blossom, said Bobby. Happy place is a good idea, said Chuck. Gave Bobby the lyrics of Drift Away. What the? Lyrics to that song? I am angry again! shouted Bobby. Oh, happy place, Brother Brother Axe, happy place, said Blossom. Spinel's garden, Spinel's garden, said Bobby calmly. Better? asked Chuck. Yes, said Bobby. The next day, Bobby was so calm, he wasn't angry anymore, all thanks to Chuck and Blossom. The end. And we hope you enjoyed the story of Angry Bobby Axelrod. Uh, yeah, I couldn't believe that Bobby was really is angry of um I can't believe that um Bobby Axelrod was really angry about um something that that just doesn't make sense. But anyways though, I'm gonna say goodbye and uh hope I'll see you again soon. Oh, and the more lesson is always try your hardest to control your anger, because you never know that it'll make you feel calm. Oh, and try to think of a happy place, just like Bobby did. Right, and I'm going to say goodbye, and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.